Two years ago, George Osborne predicted a march of the makers, with British manufacturers leading the country out of its worst recession since the 1930s. It was the arms factories that restored growth then, and the Chancellor forecast a similar industrial surge. But the march has been a slow slog. Manufacturing output is still lower than before the recession, while the larger services sector has fully recovered. As the Chancellor prepares to declare economic recovery has taken hold in his autumn statement, I've come to northwest England, a heartland of British manufacturing, to find out whether British products are indeed flying off the shelves. We are um, an industrial roof glazing manufacturer who make roof products in aluminium and polycarbonate and we also do fabricated aluminium structures which we are welded and fabricate in-house. It's been really tough, it has been tough, but I think that's been the same for anybody who's in the manufacturing construction based industries. Costs have gone up. It's been really difficult in a time where we're really competing. There's, there's so much competition out there that our margins are being squeezed um, that we're finding that the raw material costs going up at the same time is hard and it is, really is a pinch that you've got to manage carefully. Where before you were maybe one in two chasing the same business, you're now one in ten chasing that, chasing that business. But the picture is mixed. Just down the road at Hale Wood near Liverpool, car maker Jaguar Land Rover recently celebrated making its one millionth vehicle since 2001 two-thirds of them since the recession began. The Evoque SUV has smashed all records, with the plant tripling its workforce and moving to 24-hour working for the first time in its 40-year history. At the NSG glass factory in St Helens, 140 jobs are being lost as it closes a production line because of poor demand for building glass. I think manufacturing's got to be more of a priority. Services are catching up, but the high-value jobs are coming from manufacturing. The growth is going to come from SMEs that are employing people in manufacturing and the stats show us that and the government can do quite a few things on that. They can certainly look at energy prices. There's been a lot of noise in the press and media recently about the domestic energy costs but that matters to businesses as well. If energy costs are a large part of your overheads then a 10, 15, 20% hike hits profits, it hits margins and that hits the confidence and that subsequently hits growth and jobs. Exports do offer a way ahead. But while the pound has weakened by a quarter since 2008, it has not provoked an export surge. Half of British goods go to continental Europe, which remains in the doldrums. Britain has increased sales to fast-growing emerging economies, mainly in cars and luxury goods. But it remains a long way behind Germany and even Italy. The latest figures show that exports have fallen. Those at the cutting edge are doing better. They include Sigmatex, which weaves carbon fibre into products used in vehicles from Formula One cars to spacecraft. Sigmatex converts carbon fibre into carbon fibre fabric for the composites industry. It goes into mainstream commercial aircraft, private aircraft, satellites, automotive, mainstream automotive as well now, um, industrial applications and leisure. Uh, one of the main customers is uh, surfboards, stand-up paddle boards, uh, hockey sticks, etc. Sigmatex is growing, we have a, a, a very aggressive growth plan, 20% uh, year on year, we're looking to double in size in the next five years. The market is growing significantly um, and we're looking to grow with the market. Exports are a significant part of our business, probably 40% of what we do uh, is exported, mainly into mainland Europe, um, although we do have facilities in the US and China to support those markets as well. We make things, the UK is always known to make things. Um, I'm a big believer, I have a a manufacturing background, although I'm a commercial manager now, um, in making things and we make things very well and that's been shown now in the demand for our products. Investment in the, in, in the rail infrastructure, um, the HS2, you know, that, that could, I think will be a very good thing and a very positive thing for the country in general. I know there's obviously mixed views on it but I think that it is something that um, will, be, will be a benefit. The government is backing the Made in Britain campaign but manufacturers want three things cheaper energy bills, greater help to export, and more infrastructure spending. Mr Osborne may deliver the first, but has little money to commit to the others. As Napoleon said, an army marches on its stomach. General Osborne has little to offer but gruel. Andrew Bounds, Financial Times, North West England.